It's raining tears of IB chemistry. So what is a lattice energy, or enthalpy? Well, here is one mole of a crystalline ionic lattice, and the energy required to pull each of those ions out from the lattice, turn them into a gas, and space them infinitely, is the lattice energy, or strictly speaking, the change in lattice enthalpy. Why infinitely spaced? Well, then they're not attracted to each other anymore, or repelled. Here is the definition kind of taken from the data booklet. The enthalpy change when one mole of a crystal lattice is turned into its infinitely separated gaseous ions under standard conditions. The IB forgot to say standard conditions. And there's the generic lattice energy, MAXB. But I think it makes more sense if I give you an example. For example, calcium fluoride. Don't forget that on the left-hand side it has to be a solid. All ionic crystals are solid. And on the right-hand side, everything's a gas, gaseous ions. And so the lattice enthalpy increases as the ionic size decreases and the ionic charge increases. So that means a small, highly charged ion, well, they're going to have the highest lattice enthalpy. And this is all to do with charge density. I'll put a link here to explain charge density a bit more. So looking at the group 1 metal fluorides and applying an equal energy source to them, which one's going to break first? Well, you know what? It's the potassium fluoride. That has the lowest lattice energy and therefore requires the least energy to break the ions apart. Now, why is that? Well, the potassium ion is the biggest of the group 1 ions there. So that positive charge is spread out over a greater surface area. So the potassium ion is less attractive. What about magnesium and calcium fluoride? Well, we would expect those to have a higher lattice energy. After all, they have a plus 2 charge on that ion. And that's going to give an increased charge density, more attractiveness to those fluoride ions. And just as a point of reference, don't worry about the fact there are two fluoride ions, whereas before there was only one. That doesn't play any part in this. So consider tungsten carbide. This is just a pair of the ions. It's actually a huge crystal, supposedly. Uh, why does this have one of the highest lattice energies out there? Well, if we consider this equation, it might help to illuminate that. It's not IB, but uh, I find it helpful. Q1 and Q2 are the charges on the ions. So as the ionic charges increase, so does the lattice energy. Of course, there's more electrostatic attraction between the ions. And as the distance R between the nuclei increase, well, that means the ions are essentially bigger and bigger and bigger. Charge density is reduced. And of course, the lattice energy is therefore going to go down. So even though the carbide ion is huge, that minus 4 charge really is important here. So silver fluoride, silver bromide, which has the lowest lattice energy. Silver bromide, that large bromide ion, is less attractive than the fluoride ion. And which of these three has the highest lattice energy? Yep, magnesium oxide. The ions there uh, are small and have a high charge relative to the others. And we're done.